Hi. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect to Facebook Live through vMix. First things first, we're going to want to go ahead and open up our profile from Facebook. And then we're going to want to go ahead and open up vMix and have the content we'd like to stream ready to go. So once we have both of those things ready, we're going to go, to go back to Facebook. We're going to click on Live Video. We're going to give it a second for website to load up. Then we're going to click on Use Stream Key, which is Get Started. And then we're going to copy this server URL. We're going to go back to vMix. We're going to click on the gear icon right by Stream. Then we're going to click on Custom RTMP Server. On the URL, we're going to copy paste that server URL we got from Facebook. Then we're going to copy this Stream Key right here. We're going to go back to vMix. We're going to open it up. I'm going to click on that. And we're going to copy the Stream Key and paste it onto where it's the Stream Name or Key. And once we have that, we can change the quality. For internet purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and use 480p so I can connect very fast. But you can go ahead and upload it to 720 or 1080p. But we're just going to click on Save and Close. And when we, once we have that ready to go, we're just going to click on the title as well. Make sure you have a title for it. We're going to click on Demo Stream. And then we're going to put a description saying 2021 because that's the year. And then you can also change the quality or the tag. Um, it's very up to you though. So once we have those four things ready to go, the server URL copied and pasted on a vMix, the stream key copied and pasted on a vMix, then the title and description, we're going to go back to vMix and we're going to click on stream. We're going to give it one second. When it says on, when it's on yellow, it means it's connecting to Facebook. And when it's on red, it means you're live and ready to go. So now we're going to see our stream here at the bottom right. And then all that's left now is just to click go live. We're going to give it a second. And then it's going to ask us to customize your dashboard and live producer. You can just click on got it. And just like that, we're live. So now if I open up my profile here, let me see where we can get. We're going to click on Facebook, Brandon Streams. And it should pop up here in a second. Just like that. We refreshed it and our stream is live. People can go ahead and like it. People can go and comment. And just like that, our stream is live through vMix. So any content that we play through vMix is live. If you want to go ahead and shut the stream off, we can just click on stop streaming. And it'll go live. And then the same thing would be for the process to go back on live. I'm not going to do it now because it'll keep showing it as live. But um, in the future, all you would do is just click on stream. It should automatically save it. If it doesn't, we're going to go back to Facebook. We're going to open up our profile. Very top left. We're going to click on it. Go live video. I'm going to let it load. And then we're going to click on use stream key. Your persistent stream key is being used. We're going to click on continue. And then the server URL and stream key we would just upload. This option should always stay on so you don't have to change the stream key. But sometimes Facebook for privacy and security reasons replaces it because people use it on OBS, Wirecast, vMix, a lot of different programs. So it's good to always reset it a couple times, um, you know, once a month, maybe twice a month, just so you can have to have a you know secure connection and you don't have somebody else connecting live and going live through your account. Because this key is very important. Anybody with this key and URL can go live to your profile through YouTube. Um, Facebook, well, other social medias. But basically, this was a video on how to sum up your Facebook live stream through vMix. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.